Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Morrowind. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today inside Aldiadroth. Even the name seems to be a joke. This is the place where, uh, what's his name? Shelgorath, I think, uh, has a statue that we can talk to. Uh, and I figured it out. Apparently, yeah, I figured it out. So let me burn myself over here a little bit, just to punish me for my stupidity. Yeah, well, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, the thing that we're looking for, which is, it's got a name, we'll, we'll find it soon enough. It's underneath one of these pillows. And I had forgotten that uh, I had gotten the stuff already. And apparently my mind reminded or remembered that um, we had, uh, that that was where what we needed to do over here. And I did that instinctively and I didn't know what it was when we first came here. Um, so I just um, took it with me and I left it back home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast uh, I'm gonna cast Mark over here, which is an important aspect of this whole ordeal, because we need to be able to come back. I'm also gonna cast Almsy the Intervention, which I believe take us to Aldrun. Yes, it is Aldrun. And then through here, I'm gonna take the Mage Guide to Balmora, uh, because of reasons. Time is also const uh, well, whatever. It's 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 tricky to find the Mage Guide inside the Mage's Guild. Let's go through here. It's a little bit faster, I assume, and for the sake of, for your sake, and also for my sake, because the mana is gonna go, it's gonna go up. So we're gonna go back to Balmora, right, go to my quarters above the roofs because I'm a Khajiit. I, I go wherever, uh, and uh, let's go and get the Saggy Tushi or whatever the name of that thing is. I, it kind of sounds like Saggy Tushi. It's not a Saggy Tushi. Are you kidding me? You see what you saw what I was doing there. I was crashing against the door. Anyway, it's over there, somewhere. Uh, it's there it is. Gamble Putty. There, that's the one. That's the one. Cast when used, fortify agility, and drain endurance. It's kind of a weird thing. I'm not sure if it... You know what would be fine if it worked like that? Uh, is if every time you cast that thing, it would change the amounts of things. So that would be a, a gamble. And that would make it makes I mean, I think it might be the reason why it's... I don't know. Anyway, let's call... Uh, let's cast a recall. And uh, it's a shame we can't have two marks. I, I'd love to have two marks, but we only have one. And let's have a chat with you. And there it is. We're done. That's as simple as... Also... Oh, I hate that. You see what that, that willpower over there? I hate... <sighs> yeah. So that's done right there. Nope. Fortunately, this restores a buff. It didn't used to do this, which was a pain. But it, it, yeah, it did. It used to work like this. It would restore up to a hundred, and if you had something that buffed your thing, it wouldn't restore. Uh, drain attribute. Oh, so that's the reason. That's the reason why we lost that thing. We cast the gamble putty. Ah well, well it's all fine. I thought I th it's all fine. It's all good. Uh, anyway, let's remove that ring. It's now spent. Let's cast Umsiv intervention again. Uh, and uh, from there we're going to Vivek Because that's where things are and uh, I just need to take the uh, I Just need I could take either thing. I'll take the the silt strider because it's faster to get to get to mister What are you doing? Oh miss I suppose doing back here for no reason whatsoever. Did a guy fall? <laughs> there was a guy down there. So yeah, take me to Balmora and then Vivek. Please don't crash my game The game hasn't crashed in a while like to go uh, on camera anyway, so yeah, it's going well. It's going well. I don't, I can't really say why it crashed Where before. Like to go? It's just, you know, old games and it, it was really stable for me. And also the mods. The mods are also problematic because it's really hard to track down any bugs. That thing is make, casting a shadow on me. Step away. Move that thing. Move, move that huge rock over there so I might bask in the sunlight. Uh, and yeah, let's talk to. Do I get to keep Gamble Putty? I think I should be able to keep Gamble Putty. Not that I want it, but it's. Do I? Maybe I don't. I don't see it anywhere. Well, I don't need it. Anyway, let's have a chat with the uh, Faller over here. Yes, the Four Corners. You have finished the pilgrimages of the Four Corners. Um, I may have more duties for you. First, you must advance. Okay, so tell me about, about advancement. The temple recognizes you. You are now the master. Anything else? What can I do for you, master? Oh, I'm the, ma I'm the leader of the temple? You have completed the pilgrimages of the Four Corners. Now you should know the enemy of the temple. I ask only one thing. You must recover the Ebony Mail. The Ebony Mail may be found on Mount Asarni Bibi, which is north of Molag Bar. Mount Asarni Bibi is where Molag Bal oversaw the 99 lovers of Boethia that gave birth to Almalexia. That might have been a, an interesting thing. Huh? 
Go there and pray before the shrine. If you are worth it, or worthy, you will receive the Ebony Mail. Return it to me and I will make you the Patriarch of the Temple. I thought I had that already. No, no, I haven't found it. Um... To Mount Asarni Bibi. Huh. A warm welcome to you. To you as well, sir. Uh, let me cast Recall over here and let's see if I have... Because I have two mails. I have the... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Forgot to cast... Uh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't forget. Uh, maybe I couldn't, but yeah. I forgot that I had that the mark over there. So let's take again uh, the uh, Silt Strider back to Balmora. I think I have the um, the Ebony Mail there. Might be wrong. Might be wrong. Let's see. Balmora it is. And then with one swift jump, we Make go a special trip. to our... Ah! There it is. It's not that bad. Hey, sir. I know. I know. See you later. Sixth house is risen. Get out of my face, you and your risen house. Uh, so, yeah, let's see if I have the ebony mail. I have the lord's mail and I have something else. What is it? So, we have Duke's Guard, Silver Chorus, and Lord's mail over there. Okay, so we don't have the ebony mail. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do I need to drop anything? Uh, not really. Not really. I still need to make the, the calculations there. Not the calculations, the experiment. Um, and I still need to. Why exactly? Oh, I need to. Yeah, we need to enchant. It was a th something I was wishing, willing to do this episode, but I haven't had time to prepare. Because I need to prepare. Basically, when I record the episode, I'm going to need to uh, do stuff off camera and stuff. So, uh, for the sake of timing and, 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 and things, I might, I will not be able to do that in this episode. Not the enchanting. Yeah, you shut up. Let's go through here, and we need to see where Mount Asarni BB I'm is. The reason I'm here you. is to cast the mark, because I love this guild's, uh, this, uh, guild's house? guild house. Yep. It's really something I appreciate. Let's cast the mark over there. Nice. Okay, so we're good there. Uh, as for our quest, we actually might be about to do something else. Because we were doing quests all over the place. Let me also save the game. I was looking for the key. Uh, we are doing quests all over the place. And uh, we're just trying to clear out stuff that we don't need. At this point, we have the Ebony Mail and the hair shirt of Saint Al Aralor. I need to go to Lost Kokorun. I have no idea where that is. That was the problem, wasn't it? Yeah. Also, I know where I know where Mount Asarni BB is because it's marked on the map, and I'm pretty sure I've been there. Let's see. So Mount Asarni BB is over somewhere. I'm gonna shut up and not screw the music. Huh? Is it up here? You guys remember it, right? Astro now. That's not it. Morrowind soundtrack. It's not annoying. I used to think it was annoying, but that's because I play the game <laughs> like eight hours a day. <laughs> I think that's a problem. That's a big problem. So I have no idea where Mount, where Mount Asarni BB is. That's that's another big problem. There it is, Mount Asarni BB. So we need to go to Molak Bar, Molak Mar actually. And actually, it, it probably would be faster if I went to Sedrith Mora, and then from there I just travel west. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. See you later. In your you and your double voiced things. Let's go upstairs, because it's a faster way from here. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. <coughs> excuse my voice. Not me. Don't excuse me. Just excuse what my say? voice. It's got a personality of its own. How they... Oh, because of this. Um, so, yeah. I think from here, we can go west. South... We're over there. Okay, so Mount Asarni BB is right there. So, southwest. Looks like that is our destination. Let's make this an adventure, shall we? Maybe not. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Wee! I used to think that you needed to uh, be able to levitate and be invisible to be able to avoid all the enemies out in the middle of the boonies. And just, that's the second time I use that word, isn't it? Anyway, I used to think that, but you don't really. All you need to do is be able to jump a bunch and run like hell. And that's about it. It's not, not much to it, really. And, are you kidding me? I did, with my last arrow, with my last solitary arrow, I didn't hit that guy. Come on. That's what you get. Uh, okay, so we need... To, this is Mount Asarni BB. Or Ashurni BB or something. We're still not on it. Actually, we're really not on it. Let's do the... That way. Oh, the... This one is bigger! Maybe it doesn't mean... <laughs> doesn't mean that it's the correct mount, of course. Uh, let's go over here and... Uh, let's see. So that's the shrine. And over here... This is where Molag Bal oversaw the... Yeah, I know the things. Did I get the thing? I received the Ebony Mail! Awesome! Is it good? 
It is uh, constant effect, resist fire, 75%. Shield on self, 50 points. That's pretty good. It is medium armor. It has an extreme amount of armor rating. It, it's really nice. Thank you. Um, also, let's destroy that over there. Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's go uh, and just recall. Because we have the mail. I wonder, though, uh, since we're the masters and all, am I going to be able to keep it? I should be able to keep it, right? I, I mean, I really should. I'm the master of the temple. I'd be happy to talk. Yeah. My pleasure, really. Oh, boy. See you later, you and your problems with, with personal space. Really, don't go to Sweden. That'd be terrible. Uh, anyway, let's... Uh, no, I'm not talking to you, viewer. I'm talking to... Go to Sweden, viewer. I'm not talking... I'm talking to her. Because with the, those issues of, of... Yeah, you wouldn't fare well up there. Um, yes, I have uh, duties, duties, duties. Yes, about the ebony mail. I have found it. And I didn't lose it. Ah, keep the ebony mail here, watchers. Treat it well and do good deeds when you wear it. You are the new patriarch. I have long wanted to retire from the politics of the temple and write another book of sermons. Really? Okay, so I'm now... The, the, can I? I'm now patriarch. I'm now the boss of this temple. Does that mean I can visit Vivek? I see this land suits you. Well, we welcome you freely. Happily. I'm not. Mm -mm. He still doesn't grasp the things here. We still have quests to do, though. But there we go. We have completed the temple quest line, even though we still have quests to do. But that's not a problem. That's all fine. Uh, so let's see. The S, the F, P, T, R, P, T, R. So the Patchwork airship, we need to go to the Salt's theme. The sh the Smith's Apprentice, that's in Mournhold. Let oh. No, the temple. Oh, okay, so we haven't done that. This is in Mournhold as well. Because it says a bazaar of, of the Bazaar Sewers. Uh, so, that yeah, that's the quest that we need. The Champion of Clutter, yeah, I know, I know. The Dwemer's Bone, I have heard that Balin Andrano is having a rough business with... Uh, a rough time with his business. Who's this guy? He's a trader in Ranaran district of the city. What? what uh, who said that? Latreus Muko. Really? The Red Orion? We haven't explored that, have we? No, we haven't explored many things in, your, in, in Vivek. Let's explore Vivek. How fun is that gonna be? Well, considering the fact that we kind of explored most of it already, it's probably gonna be quite an exercise in futility. Not really. It's not gonna be an exercise in futility. I hmm, haven't been here. Have I? There's a dead guy, so I suppose I have. This is St. Delans. We need to go through all of these things, and I think I might have been through them already. Yeah, I remember this. I am Imendi Dren, daughter of Duke Vedra Den. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Well, I don't really know. Business? How can you talk about business when people cannot read? There are tr tr teachers in the Mages Guild, but they often do not have enough books to teach from. Go to a bookstore and find the book Annotated Anwar and ABCs for Barbarians. Bring a copy of each uh, uh, each of these to Valakatraso in the Aldrun Guild of Mages. Annotated Anwar and ABC for Barbarians. Sounds like a plan, lady. Let's do that. Oh, well, it's a good thing I came here, though. Because I'm pretty sure I wasn't here in St. Delans. I, I have been to one of the cantons. I am pretty sure I explored one of the cantons completely. Because of the quest that we... I think that was the first canton we we explored. So let's get, let's get the annotated Anawad and uh, the ABC for Barbarians. I know the ABC for Barbarians is sold over here. But the annotated Anawad probably is as well. It's quite common. Quite common of a book. Uh, let's see, start from the beginning, a dance on fire, ABC for Barbarians, thank you very much, annotated, oh, you don't sell the annotated, are you, are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? Don't look at me like that! Okay, well, in Aldrun, is that a book? What can I do? What can I do? How can I get that book? I'm very happy to make you acquainted. I'm not gonna look for it, that's for sure, although it pro- there pro- it probably <laughs> exists over here. Is there any bookshelves around? There are some. That's probably not going to be here. Ah, well, whatever. I know where to go. I know where to go. Let's take the guild guide and take it to Vivek. And this is going to take us Welcome, to... Welcome, Khajiit. I see you later. I will see you later. Uh, and yeah, this is going to take us to the foreign quarter. So we can go to a bookseller oh. that exists. Jobasa's Rare Books. And I think she actually sells... Or he... I, I don't know if Jobasa is a... I don't know. I don't remember. I think it's a guy. And I always think it's a female, but it's, it's not. Oh, no! Ooh, ooh, ah, mm, ah, ah! Seriously? <laughs> that was almost there. 
I was almost there. Yeah. So we need to go to Jabash's place and um, and buy books from him. I think he sells all the books that you will ever need for any quest, except for one that he doesn't. So Kennel works. I'm not sure if this is the one, but I will immediately. I I think I always go to the left uh, up there, but I think this might be it. What do we have? Jarasha's the healer. Over here we have uh, the foreign quarter tomb. The tomb, a tomb, tomb. And a bookseller. Not Jabasha, apparently. Simini. Simini Farlin, the guy that hides people. Uh, annotated on one, please. Mm. Can I ask him about that? Seriously? Okay, well, um, he doesn't sell that. That's kind of, pro kind of a problem. How the hell can you not sell the annotated Anua? That thing is so oh, common. Friend. How does the day greet you? Very badly. She has a book for general sale. The hell's that? Why can't I open them? Well, I need I need Jobasha. Jobasha's place. Let's see. So we have uh, Simin Fraline and we have, do we have Jobasha? Is it am I wrong? Jin the traitor. Oh. So where's Jobasha? It's not here, it's in the cantons, right? Yeah, it's in the cantons. Okay, let's call, cast a recall and uh, see what I can do about this. Where would there be more booksellers? Well, Mornhold has one. And we might find the annotated Anawad's over here. <clears throat> the problem is I don't remember how it looks. Warm greetings, Outlander. To you as well. Care to peruse my spell? Mm, spell? Do you sell books? No, he doesn't sell anything. Okay, so let's go to... Caldera. I'm pretty sure there's a bookseller here. I'd be happy to talk. But I never I go there. Really. Oh man. In search of a bookseller. And I'm 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 finding the process of me thinking about one quite interesting, so that's why I'm I haven't cut away. So I just Yeah. Bond broker. Eh, you never know. Ergola, I'm looking for a very specific book. And it, that would be the one. That wouldn't that be amazing? Um and uh he doesn't sell books. Pawn broker that doesn't sell books. What kind of pawn broker are you, man? Do you have an updated Anwad up here? That guard is not gonna like me if I steal from you, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm confused. Now I don't know where to get more books. Maybe in Balmora. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I think now is the time to get away. I'll be right back. Well, the problem is very simple. Please go ahead, Outlander. It's I'm not listening. annotated Anwar, it's the annotated Anwar. And that's why it wasn't there. I mean, I'm not sure if it's here, but it is. Just one, please. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh boy, my bad, really. My bad, that was totally my bad. Anyway, we need to take this to Aldrun. Know where to begin. Well, it's from the start. It's usually how you where you begin. You begin from or either from the bottom, depending on if you're building something, but that constitutes the start, or from the beginning, or however you want to call it. So let's go to Aldrun. Who do I need to deliver this to? It's all for teaching. It's a pretty noble, pretty noble cause. Uh, to Va Vala Catrasso. Nope. That sounds like a Valak Trasso. Sounds like an imperial name. Vala, the V there. A Bosmer. Three blessings. Sir. Doesn't it sound like an imperial name? But what do I know? I named. I'm I named, very happy to make. I named Mike Ajit. He watches, so yeah. I, I don't know nothing. Oh come on! I'm st I get stuck Welcome. in the easiest of things. <laughs> oh boy. Oh how man. About sharing. No. How about you shut up? Are we in the right place? Guild mages in Aldrun. Yeah. Hey, no, not this, not this key. Yes. Do you have any uh, Valakatrasso yes. in here? I have no idea. Man, damn it, this, this getting stuck today, I apologize for that. I hope it doesn't make you sick. It doesn't make me sick, so I, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna make you, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty bad at that. Um, but uh, yeah, so hopefully it doesn't make you sick either. Or maybe you're not even watching, you're just listening. And in that case, well, you have my complete and utter Do sympathy. Not sympathy, because that's not kind of the notes that I'm... Ruined. Oh, there she is. So, oh. To see you. Is ah, that... 
Greetings. What, what, what are you? What shall we talk about? Yeah, what I meant is I do the, exactly the same. Uh, background. Who are you? Who is she? She's a priest. Yeah, yeah, a priest. Yes, my trade. My trade. What, what is your race, my lady? She doesn't have my trade. Am I blind again? Yeah, she doesn't have. Huh. Anyway, um, my name is Velocatrasso. I run this little class of Outlanders new to Morrowind. Yes, Morrowind lore. Huh. My tradition, Ashlanders came the right to raid all other Ashlander tribes. Yeah, they're very peaceful guys. Uh, so yeah, I have books for you, but I don't really know where I need to... Oh, damn it, the specific places where I need to... Uh, people cannot read, that's the one. Have you brought me books for my students? Yes, I have. These will be more help than you know, he watches. I am grateful. And as you know, the ABC for, for Barbarians just actually A for, like, Smash, and B for Smash, and C for Smash. It's not stuff. It's just words that mean something to a barbarian. I don't know. Like, the B would be berries? I don't know. Beer, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we need to go to Vivek again. Although, we are probably going to need to sleep. Greetings to you. A pleasure you to meet you. Are you in the wrong place? Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, she is. Okay, so she's not going to invade our privacy show. anymore. Let me save the game before that girl complains that I sleep in her bed. Let's heal until uh, rest until healed. I will free the Dunmer from the Imperial yoke and cast down the false gods of the Temple. I will lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the divine. Intimate Welcome. knowledge. If you wish to talk, please come to the if you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. Well, I just had a, a really weird dream. I dreamed that a tall figure with a golden mask cried, I will free the Dunmer from the Imperial Yolk. There's no yolk, man. And to cast down the false gods of the temple, I will lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the divine. He smiled and seemed pleasant. But when he reached to touch me, it terrified me, and I tried to escape, but I couldn't move. The figure kept smiling and talking, but I felt sure he was trying to cast some sort of spell on me. Well, let me let me go to sleep again. What happened to my UI? Seriously, what happened to my UI before? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyway, we're here in... Uh, the reason why I was sleeping is because I needed mana. And we're here in Vivac. We're gonna go back to St... St. Uh, Delin's Canton, this one over here, to number two, and uh, tell her that everything is fine. I don't really know who she is, but she's very concerned about the education of people, and that's a very noble cause. And yes, I saved before the game was completely faded in. You have done a good, uh, good deed for Valor Quatrasso students. You have my gratitude. Uh, we have more business? Slavery. Who are you? Why, 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 why is she giving me... People's... Can yeah, what... Oh, she's House Lalu. Huh. Well, slavery. I know. You have seen the Twin Lamps? Uh, yeah, I have. It's uh, it's like a, a, a bar. Did I press no? I pressed yes, right? Oh, maybe I, I, I should say no? I, I mean, I guess. Oh, it's a passcode. It's a passcode, and that's why she's... She, oh, yeah, we're gonna need to get that but uh, we will get it eventually it's all like, against slavery and stuff so it kind of makes sense speaking of Khajiit hello uh, do you have anything for me he doesn't look like he has something for me and I probably that's the case what, ha what that happened although what I haven't been here friend? that happened with the other lady is that I talked to her she didn't talk about business and I didn't say the word business and uh, and basically that that is what happened although if they have business written in their dialogue they'll you know, it's, it's kind of special how the dialogue system works. Uh, you don't really have anything for me, do you? She has a bunch of stuff, but nothing really extraordinary. Um, so let's just visit these two again. Try to... Oh. I have not been here. I have definitely not been here. There's naked ladies in here. Well, they're not really naked. Much to my chagrin, mind you, but... Oh, no, wait a minute. There's a naked man as well. Semi naked naked men. Well, are they aggressive? Yes, they are. Let me stab in the face. You will die. And he was in the butt this time around. Ah! There it is. So hard it it casts sparks. It's just it's just how hard I stab you in the butt. Uh, did she move her head when I took that, or did she just freak out? She opened her mouth, I think, or something. Uh, I think it resets their expression, their facial expression. Okay, this guy's a fat ass. Um. 
And uh, yeah, not 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 sexist at all that they do this. <laughs> not at all. Having the the ladies have smaller chunks of meat than the, than the guys. This happens recursively, and I'm not really sure if it's random. I'm pretty sure it's not because we've seen it happen. Uh, so these guys are here in the heart of Vivek, and they're praying, praising, or praying to uh, the Ash Lord. And of course, it might be the tall guy that we spoke to in our dreams. The um, the guy that, yeah, the guy that we have had that stuff with, the weird dreams. We're gonna need to investigate that later on, actually. And that's the Ash statue right there. We're gonna need one, and uh, I'm probably not gonna remember to come here to get one. I think we're gonna need one. I could get it, but I... For role-playing reasons, I probably shouldn't go around with an Ash statue. I'm ready for anything. Go ahead. Yep. Okay. Um... Hi. Okay, he doesn't really say anything. Okay, see you later then. Yeah, we definitely have not been here in St. Helens, so look at that. Look at that. I was doing that and thinking, oh, this is old news. It was not. All along, it was not. Uh, unless, uh, unless, of course, it was, but I don't think it was. We might have been to a couple of particular locations there. Uh, so what do we have? We have not been here before. Let's explore all these ramifications. And, uh, yeah, if you're thorough like I like to be, you will go and touch that door. But there's no need to do that here because you can see that there is no access points in there. No doors or anything. They're sometimes hidden, but once you start seeing the, uh, the wall in the... Yeah, right there. There's no need. No need to go there. Although, you need to pay attention. Hey, sir. Uh, do you have anything in particular? Someone in particular? No, do you have anything going on? Do you have anything going on? No, everybody's good. Sometimes the ordinators, I, I don't know, may, they may say stuff. Uh, but I don't know again. Uh, okay, so let's go up here and see what we have. We have the Abbey of St. Delin the Wise. We definitely haven't been here. Okay, there's shadows. That doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Hello? It is. It sounds like a skeleton. Doesn't it? Hello, sir. May I? Let me just open this chest. Okay, it's all fine. Uh, he doesn't have anything for me? Why were you locked in- oh, I suppose. Anyway. Shouldn't- probably shouldn't barge into people's rooms. She doesn't say anything. What do I can you ask want, her about the corpus Dr. disease? It's a rare form of blight disease. Sometimes crusaders get it from fighting corpus monsters inside the ghost fence. We can't cure it. Victims are sent to the corpusarium beneath Telfir, the tower of the Telvani wizard Divaith Fir. Victims go mad and the, bodies the body becomes fat and distorted with uh, unnatural growths. It is always fatal. Sometimes it progresses slowly, sometimes in a matter of days. Oh, she said something. I, I, corpus disease, I asked about Telfir. Let me mark it on your map. Okay. We know where Telfir is. We actually went very close to it um, in our little journey right uh, at the beginning of this episode. But, uh, yeah, there's no boat there or something. I don't is there something I can do for you, Outlander? Maybe. Do you train good stuff? Yeah, she does. Blunt weapons. She's a master trainer for blunt weapons, I would believe. Which is good because we're running out of time for the episode, so I might as well indulge in the pleasures of bluntness with her. Um, but that's going to be off camera and in between episodes. Until the next one, I suppose. I am Colonel RPG, and this has been Motorwind. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.